Once a year for the past 25 years, the nation has paused on the second Friday in May to remember law enforcement officers killed in the line of duty. That ceremony took on special meaning tonight for Cincinnati officers. Local 12's Angela Ingram is live at the National Police Memorial in Washington. Angela, this must have been a very moving and emotional experience. It was a very somber experience, Cami. very, very somber. People have mixed emotions every year when they come to this event. And this is a candlelight vigil that not only honors officers, people who have given everything they've got, people who have died in the line of duty, but it also honors their family members. Families who were missing a loved one are honored. Their family member paid the ultimate price, killed in the line of duty. From the oldest survivor to the youngest, each is escorted by an officer. It is. It's very special. Um, I've been doing the escort of the survivors for the last nine years, and uh, this is a very uh, moving night uh, getting to... Uh, escort the survivors in. Northern Kentucky and Cincinnati area police had a strong presence in the crowd. CPD officers escorted in Officer Sonny Kim's widow and sons. Kim was gunned down in Madisonville almost one year ago. I feel a little overwhelmed being here. It's an honorable event to come here um, to represent Cincinnati, especially with putting um, Officer Sonny Kim's name on the on the wall. Officer Chris Holtman came close to being one who almost made the ultimate sacrifice. In 2006, a suspect shot her during a traffic stop, but now she's here to honor others. I had taken a suspect um, out of the passenger seat and was attempting to cuff him. Um, he spun around, shot me point blank in the face with a 45. As the sun set, family members held candles representing their loved ones and people who protect and serve are hoping the public understands the sacrifices they make. We are human beings. Um, it is important for us to go home to our families. Um, most people don't go to work thinking this could be the last time I see my family. And it was really a sea of emotions this evening. Many people telling us that they come here every single year because they genuinely enjoy meeting all law enforcement from across the country. But then the reason that they're here is one that they'd rather not be here in the first place. So it is also heart wrenching for them. Reporting live tonight in Washington, D.C., Angela Ingram, Local 12 News. Cammy, back to you. Yeah, I can't imagine what it's like to be there in person, Angela, because just watching the video here, I mean, you get tears. It was really something that strikes you to see so many people who are affected by this and to see the smallest people, little kids with signs that say, I miss you, daddy. That's the kind of thing that whether or not you are someone who has someone who's a police officer in your family, that gets you right in the heart. And it was also very difficult to see so many names on the wall at the National Memorial because that told you that for every single name, there's a family there that does not have their loved one. Mm. Angela Ingram, thanks so much. You've done a great job there in D.C. for us. Thank you.